I'm Reiko, and a freshman in high school. Quite an unusual name, right? My parents put a name like this on me so that I'd become someone that isn't very present, like a ghost. My family's been running a business since my great-grandfather, and my father is the CEO, and my brother is next in line for the position. My parents are always interested in my brother and not me. They've always wanted to focus on my brother only and heard they only expected one child, but they had me on accident, is what my mother told me, and they reluctantly had me, which means I'm a child they never wanted. A child who basically isn't there, Reiko. But I wasn't lonely because I had grandpa there all the time. Ray, let me see your homework. Yes. I brought us cakes as a snack. Let's eat after we're done. Yeah, thank you, Grandpa. My grandpa is the previous CEO of the company, and after my father took over, he'd stay home and play or teach me things. Father, don't worry about her. Instead, teach Shuichi about economics, will you? Shuichi already has enough tutors. She only has me. Shuichi will be taking over your company soon. I never asked him to take over. If he doesn't want to, he doesn't need to. Whatever my parents said to my grandpa, he was always there by my side. Grandpa, I'm sorry, you always fight with my dad because of me. It's not your fault. You don't have to worry about it. He'd say very gently as he pat my head. This is when I was in elementary school. Anyways, he suddenly became very sick. He said it was just a cold, but upon a checkup, we learned he had cancer. And it's all around his body, which means Sergi will not be able to cure it. While I was down knowing he didn't have very long, my family looked like they didn't care at all. In fact... Finally, a nuisance is gone, huh? There were still people who wanted his opinion on things, so thank God. Now Father will be able to work freely, huh? <sighs> Grandpa, I, I don't want you to go. Hey, I won't go dying that fast. But... I won't lose against cancer. I need to see you have your day. I won't die until then. My grandpa, even though he was fighting cancer, has been by my side for the last five years. But just last year... Grandpa! That was my brother's birthday, and the three of them were at an expensive restaurant. I was the only one who saw him pass. The only thing that was waiting for me now was loneliness. My parents always ignored me and acted like I didn't exist, and my brother would punch me whenever he was upset about something. At school, I had no friends, and I had no meaning to stay alive. One day, while I was walking home from school, I don't remember there being a temple here. I walked through the gate as if I was being sucked in. I'm sorry I don't have any offering money. I didn't have an allowance, so I had no money. But because I was here, I put my hands together and prayed. I only had one wish, to bring back my grandpa. I knew that this wish meant nothing, but that night, something strange happened. My parents had given me an old phone because I would look bad in public. I didn't have any numbers on it, but I received a message. On the screen, there was a message. Hello, my name is Jin. Who's this? Are you Reiko? It knows who I am! You came by my shrine, so I wanted to thank you. What?! I was scared, but I knew no one was going to prank me like this, so I began to reply to the message. Um, how do you know about that? Because you pray to me, right? I know everything about the people that come and pray to me. Uh, are you a god? Something like that. Are you going to give me back my grandpa? Sorry, I can't do that. I can't bring back dead people. Then why did you contact me? I can't let you see your grandpa again, but in exchange, I thought I would be your talking buddy. What does that mean? You don't have friends, right? No. Your grandpa said that because he was very attached to you, that you missed your opportunity to make new friends and he regretted that. You talked to my grandpa? Right before he went to the other side, yes. He said he couldn't teach you everything you needed to know to stay alive on your own, and he wanted me to help you out. My grandpa asked you? Call me Jin. Um, you seem pretty old. Huh? Really? I was trying to be a little younger. You still sound pretty old, and I thought God is able to talk to people directly, like, like, to people's hearts. We didn't have useful things like this back then. So God's advanced too, huh? People and gods both need to advance. You too. I don't know what's happening. 
But from that point on, God would send me messages from time to time. And I felt at ease with that. And because it was God, I thought I wasn't in any danger, so I continued to talk to him. Reiko, what kind of things do you like? I don't know. I don't have things that I like. How about computers? You play a lot of games, right? That's just playing. And besides, my parents think it's stupid. You don't need to hate on yourself just because everyone says it's stupid. Honestly, I'm a little interested in making video games. Then why don't you start learning how to? But I don't have the money to buy books, and my parents won't let me work part-time because it'd look bad. Your grandpa has left money just for you. Huh? I went to my grandpa's room just like Jin told me. Reach into the back of the drawer. Uh, huh? There was an envelope attached to the back with 10,000 yen inside. How did you know that was there? I told you. Your grandpa told me. But isn't this illicit inheritance? Wow. How did you know that? I overheard my parents fighting over his inheritance, so... Your grandpa left a will about it, but apparently they ignored that, huh? He left a will? He wrote to give 50,000 yen to you, but this money was just in case they didn't give you any money. So you used that on your own, okay? Sounds like you did that yourself. Whoops, sorry. I was just watching. Use that money to study. Buying books is okay, but it won't be enough. You should apply for a seminar and learn there. Do you think I can do that on my own? Of course. You're your grandpa's granddaughter, right? Jin pushed me forward, and I began to apply for an online engineering seminar class and started learning. Luckily, the seminar was all online, and I could join via my phone. So I put myself in the study room of my school and taught myself to become an engineer. At this point, my brother went to college, and my parents were hard at work, so their son can inherit the company at a good time. As for my brother, he would go out partying all the time and not come back home. So behind everyone's back, I was able to gain my engineering skills. How's studying going? It's tough, but very interesting. I'm thinking of going to an engineering school. Do you have enough money? I'm actually working part-time right now. I found a way to earn money via the internet. That's great! It's all thanks to you, Jin. Thank you. No worries. I'm sure your grandpa is happy for you, too. I sure hope so. Anyways, how's the company right now? Apparently, things aren't going very well. Just recently, they were arguing about something. Apparently, my dad's new business isn't doing very well. I see. I thought I told him to stop. Told him? Your grandpa knew that without planning, that business would fall flat. But your father wouldn't listen and went for it. I see. And your brother? I don't know. He's in college and barely comes back home. When he does, he's drunk. I see. That boy was brought up very nicely. But he doesn't seem to know how to work hard. I'm surprised you know that too. Reiko, please learn how to live on your own. And please, leave that house as soon as you can. I didn't need to be told that. I'd already told my parents that I would spend my high school years learning engineering and go to an engineering school after graduation. I left the house before graduation, and while it was basically running away, they did not worry about me or come looking for me. Afterwards, I had enough money to go to an engineering school with the money I earned from part-time work, and began my quest to become an engineer. There were boys all around me, and while I didn't think I could make friends, I don't need to worry at all. Because everyone had the same common interests, it didn't matter that we were boys and girls. I made my first friends, and within them, I fell in love with one, and I made my first boyfriend as well. I quickly told Jin about him. Hey Jin, guess what? I have a boyfriend now. Is he a good person? Yeah, he's a good person, and while well, clumsy at times, he doesn't lie at all. Well, you must have known that. No, not really. The only thing that matters is how you see him. It's all thanks to you, Jin, that I'm here. Will you be with me moving forward? You don't need me anymore, Reiko. Huh? I was going to leave when you made your first friend or partner. Wait, you're, you're joking, right? You're fine now. You're strong now. Wait, Jin, don't go! I'm sorry I couldn't see your big day. You be happy, okay, Ray? Jin, wait, don't go! At that moment, or perhaps I knew way long ago, that the person who told me was God was talking to me was my grandpa all along. I ran to the temple where I'd met Jin, but there was only a large cedar tree there. Thank you, Grandpa. After two years at engineering school, I graduated with the highest grade there and was able to join a famous company as an engineer. As I worked from home with my boyfriend from engineering school, Makoto, I stumbled across news about my family business going bankrupt. Then I got a call from my parents. Where are you? Come home!
Give us your money! My father's new business had failed, and they had tons of loans left. And they asked me for my help, the child who didn't exist. Just imagining what my life would have been like if I stayed at home frightened me. Is there something wrong? No, not at all. Like they treated me like I didn't exist, the only family I had was my grandpa. Grandpa, I'm happy now.